everybody welcome back to my channel we are on part five of the series if you are here for the first time we have part one two three and four i'll link them down below they may appear in the top somewhere but either way you can go back and watch part one through four pertaining to specimen collection tube type tube additives how many times we avert them where they go in the laboratory etc so we are on part five and our final part if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss series like this and so that you don't miss classes when i do pop in and do classes pop in and do lives phlebotomy after dark of course is every saturday night you have a chance to win a flip box when you are there come in you have to speak you have to tell us who you are what you're doing you're in school you're out of school all that good stuff just make sure you subscribe your notification bell is turned on just so you're in the loop with this fam this is the greatest fam here so stay tuned stay in the loop and just be current with all this good stuff like I said, we are on part five of our specimen collection, tubes, tests, additives, etc., etc., set series. <laughs> and we've gone over a lot of these tubes. Today, however, we are doing our last card, which is a part of the ASCP phlebotomy exam uh, flashcard system. So this is the last one in the specimen collection part of tubes and additives now there are a million there there's so many cards to this actual set and if you want to check it out or get your own there's a link down below in the description box you just click it it'll take you straight to it you don't have to search for them and it's the actual set that i have there's sheets of paper about eight and a half by eleven and all you have to do is perforate them and tear them apart and you have a little flat a little flash card system and that's what we've been using here so i'm going to jump right into this video because today we're talking about our green top two our light green we're talking about our lavender and our orange and i have each one of those here and even in the previous videos when we talked about our plastic red our glass red we discussed our pink top two we talked about our gold top two and our speckled top red top two we discussed what else our light blue sky blue we also went over the royal blue dark blue and i think we touched on the dark green even also and yeah so a lot of great stuff going on in this little series so check it out and of course i must mention we did talk about our yellow top tubes which have always been um, a topic of discussion here because just because it was one of those things that i really need to hone in on because people were saying that the yellow top tube goes first and i need you to watch that video so that you'll know why it's very important to be specific when you're talking about your colors and why i've always said no yellow does not go first so check it out all of those videos are linked down below and they may appear periodically from time to time up top so you won't have trouble finding those so like I said today we're doing the orange the light green and the lavender and yes I do have them here all of what I'm saying is strictly from these cards It's not what I would say some of these cards I've actually read and I'm like mm, that's I don't know why they say that or whatever and I will go over that so make sure you're in the loop because a pop-up live that's where we're going to discuss this series and session um, a little bit touch base if you have, guys have comments and questions put them down below and then we can go over it during our lives starting with our light green top two this is your light green top two remember you have a dark green top you have dark green in two sizes that's not what we're talking about we said light green be specific our light green top two we run tests for this two potassium chemistry test potassium is a big one potassium is running this test as well as most of your chemistry tests it's not to say another tube can't be used but you need to know and understand that yes your light green top tube is used for chemistries and we have to say potassium because potassium is not run in your other tubes that may go to chemistry it has to be the light green top tube this tube has to be inverted eight to ten times the additive in this tube is a heparin of lithium descent. So it's a lithium heparin and it also has the thixotropic gel at the bottom because it goes in the centrifuge to be spun and it's going to yield us plasma, 
when it spins and separates the blood or the plasma from the blood. So that is your light green top tube. And it goes to chemistry, you know that. <laughs> the next tube we're gonna talk about is this lavender top tube. Molecular test, right? Molecular, when you think about your CBC, your, their cells, your red blood cells, your white blood cells, we need a complete blood count. CBC, you're always doing um, molecular testing. And this tube will go to hematology. It doesn't go anywhere else unless there's a special tube. It'll say it'll go to special chemistry sometimes or, you know, but that's a whole nother video. Your lavender top tube goes to hematology. And these are the basics. And this is what's on the system. And this is what's more than likely is on the test if you test for and with the ASCP. The additive in this tube is EDTA. I'll put that right here. And this tube will yield us whole blood. As you know, it's not going to go into a centrifuge. More than likely, you can determine if a specimen is going to go in the centrifuge if it has a gel in the bottom because they want to spin it to separate something. Not to say that's the truth for all tubes, but for the majority of the time, especially starting out, if you're confused with what you're going to be doing, the basics, unless you go into a specialty, just know that if you see gel in the bottom, it's going to be spun. Eight to ten times inversion and your most common test is of course your CBC in your lavender top tube. Last but not least, we have a orange top tube. Now, I don't have the yellow gray. Apparently there is a yellow gray that is the same as or used the same as the orange top tube. And thank goodness my subscriber sent me an entire box of these. Otherwise I would not have them. So thank you, Timothy, you know who you are. And these tubes are for chemistry tests. They're always stat because of the clotting time and the clotting factor. And I will go, I've done a video on that, but if you want me to talk about it in great detail, comment down below and we'll get to that as well. But this tube is usually run stat because it clots faster than all of the other tubes. It yields serum. This is a serum separator tube, but it is a rapid serum separator tube, which means it what? Clots fast, gets the job done quickly. It's going to be inverted after you get your blood in it eight to ten times because it has thrombin in it for that clotting time. We need that clot. We need it now. So it's lightly coated with a thrombin. Serum is yield. It goes to chemistry. Stat, stat, stat. And all chemistry tests can and will be run from this orange top tube. Now, I don't have a black top tube and I don't have the yellow gray top tube. I don't even know what that is. Um, but those are the last three on this particular part of our little session. So we've done just about every two. I believe we've done every two, except those specialty tests and specialty tubes like a blue top tube like this. Um, pearl top tube is not on there. And uh, I think that's it. At least for the tubes that we have here, that's what's on the ASCP phlebotomy exam flashcard system. So that's what we touched the base. Now, if there are any comments, questions, or concerns, because this is the last one for this particular session, please leave your comments down below so that we can go over things during our lives, sessions, and even when we go into our next session. There's a couple more cards coming up that are relatable to this and they are a part of specimen processing so just because we're done with that don't miss out on the next few because it all goes together but that's the last of the cards the additive the inversions and things like that so yes i'm so glad you guys enjoyed this i'm going to keep it going tomorrow we'll have uh what are we doing tomorrow the blood cultures so remember i said that i didn't have a card for the cultures found a card for the cultures and if you don't know this is going to be really good because do you really know the difference between the aerobic and the anaerobic bottle how to draw them why are you drawing that one first why not that one first big information that you need to know you could really be messing something up if you're pulling them and you're just like well it doesn't matter it doesn't matter they're the same they've got a medium in them both of them no ma'am come and find out come come 
and find out so just come back okay i'm gonna go comment down below let me know what you want to see next and we'll get that up as well in between all of this so yes i will see you guys later y'all have a good one see you then bye